This was a good decision. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the Supreme Court striking down affirmative action when it comes to college admissions. So colleges can no longer use race as an automatic boost in your admission. Now, this ruling has come about because of two cases, one at Harvard and one at UNC, University of North Carolina. Now, I've not been following the UNC case, but I did follow the Harvard case because Asian students filed a lawsuit saying, hey, we are being discriminated against because of affirmative action. Because let's be clear here, affirmative action in practice, from what I'm able to see, and if I'm wrong, y'all please correct me in the comments, but affirmative action helps blacks and Latinos get access into colleges where they probably couldn't go due to their low test scores and academic performance. Now, am I saying that because you're black or Latino, you're automatically going to have low test scores and low academic performance? I'm not saying that. I'm talking about when you look at the actual data, that's what's happening when affirmative action kicks in. Without the affirmative action automatically boosting blacks and Latinos because of their race, you will have fewer of them at some of the really high, high, high schools. Harvard, like, you know, the, the Ivy Leagues, you would have fewer of them there and it'd be more white and Asian. But I guess the Asians don't really count, right? Because the typical argument is, well, if not for affirmative action, these schools would be all white. That's not true. A place like Harvard, Yale, they'll be more white and Asian. And when I say Asian, I don't just mean Japanese, Korean, Chinese. I'm talking about from the Indian subcontinent as well, a lot of brown people. So you're going to have Indians, Asian, like uh, Indians, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, whites from America, from Europe, South America, all of that kind of stuff at these colleges. More than blacks and Hispanics. Now, here is the question. Is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. I don't particularly think so. I mean, if they are the ones who are performing better, then it is what it is. They're just better overall. I don't really see the problem. What that tells me is that blacks and Latinos got to tighten up, got to get it together if we're trying to get into the higher levels of these uh, these programs. We can still go to college. It's not like it's not like without without affirmative action, there would be nobody black or Latino in college. That's ridiculous. I mean, you have HBCUs that are full of black folks. And if you want to go higher than that, there's still some programs that are higher than your regular HBCU, your regular state school, but aren't as strenuous as MIT, you know. When you, and then here's here's the next part. Here's why it is racist. Well, here's yet another reason why it's racist. The obvious thing, they're discriminating against whites and Asians because you have to understand, in order to place more blacks and Hispanics in the college over, that have to be placed over whites and Asians who perform better. So let me give you an example. The case in Harvard was about Asian students, and they were talking about in their admissions, they were being discriminated against on the personality portion of their admission because in order to have fewer of them, the college had to find a way to eliminate them from contention, but not based on merit. Okay, let's find some random thing. Okay, they got bad personality. Let's not admit them based on that. But they'll have higher test scores, better academic performance, more references, a better high school, more preparation, more everything than their black or Hispanic counterpart. That is discrimination. And if you don't want to have discrimination in this country, then don't discriminate. I heard that on the news this morning. They said, you know what? The best way, the best way to not discriminate is to not discriminate. So here we are. Here we are. And then the next part about the whole thing being racist. Um, when you're talking about placing blacks and Hispanics with lower test scores, worse academic performance, when you place them in a very high program, they're often going to perform poorly. 
they're going to perform like, but they're going to have some of the lowest test scores in the class. So then here comes the director of diversity, the, the, the resident Antifa, the resident Black Lives Matter, fists up in the air, Rachel Dolezal, white person talking about, yeah, I got 0.001% Cherokee Indian. Shout out to uh, Elizabeth Warren. That person is going to come in and say, you know what? The reason why these black and Hispanic kids are performing so poorly is because the professor is racist. The program is racist. The entire school is racist. So all you're doing is just reinforcing a lot of these negative stereotypes. You're reinforcing false narratives, all because the admission was racist from the beginning. So I'm glad they struck this down. I'm 100% glad. Anybody that says anything to the contrary, I mean, I, I just don't really understand where you're coming from. Discrimination is not cool. The only way you could tell me that it's wrong to not admit somebody that's black and Hispanic is if you can prove that they were discriminated against because of their race. You're black, you're Hispanic. Yes, you have the scores, the performance, K through 12. You have all the things that you need to have to get into this college, but you're black. We're not going to allow you in. That would be racist. That would be discrimination. If that was going on, then I would be against this ruling. But that's not what's happening. What's happening is that Asians and whites are facing discrimination because of affirmative action. So removing affirmative action would make everybody be on the same playing field, or at least that's what it should be. Now, I have a couple articles. I got a few articles just because I want to show you different points of view, and I will link to everything in the description box. But you see what's going on right here. This is New York Times. Supreme Court strikes down race-based admissions at Harvard and UNC. And disavowing race as a factor in achieving educational diversity, the court all but ensured that the student population at the campuses of elite institutions will become whiter and more Asian and less black and Latino. As I said from the beginning, is that a bad thing? I don't think it is. I mean, it is what it is. The NBA, obviously majority overwhelmingly black. Should there be some kind of program, some kind of affirmative action program to get more uh, whites and Asians and Hispanics in the NBA? There's quite a few white Europeans in the NBA, but not so many white Americans. I mean, you've got your man, uh, Nikola Jokic, a.k.a. Joker from the Denver Nuggets, big seven-foot-tall Serbian guy. Okay, he just won the championship with his team. All right, just won MVP. Well, he didn't win MVP. He should have won MVP, but it's a different story. One of the best players, if not the best player in the league, but he's a European guy. How many white guys could say that they were the best player in the league? The last uh, great American white guy, probably Larry Bird in the 80s. Is, is that a problem? I mean, what are you going to do? Tell, you know, little, little Grayson and Tyler to go out there rather than playing baseball all day, pick up a basketball and do that, rather than trying to be an uh, NFL quarterback, go out there and try to dunk, do a 360 windmill, Try to hit that mid-range jumper. I mean, what do you do? It is what it is. Let's stop having these race-based admissions if we are not racist. All right, here's an article from Fox. Supreme Court rejects affirmative action and ruling on universities using race in admissions decisions. And the subhead, the Supreme Court issued decisions in affirmative action cases against Harvard and UNC. And I think there was one blurb I wanted to read right here before we moved on to the next one. Um... Let me see. Many universities are argued race-based admissions. Oh, this is what I wanted to read right here. The U.S. Supreme Court handed down a major ruling on affirmative action on Thursday, rejecting the use of race as a factor in college admissions as a violation of the 14th Amendment's Equal Protection Clause. Absolutely correct. As Americans, we have a constitutional right to equal protection under the law. Affirmative action obviously violates that. It obviously violates that. So this was a correct decision. And by the way, you had all the conservative justices or conservative leaning justices, six of them. They approved a decision and the three liberals dissented, of course, kind of a ideological line vote. Here's Wall Street Journal. Supreme Court's rules against affirmative action. Opinion bars consideration of race and college admissions. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. 
Supreme Court found it unconstitutional to consider race in university admissions, eliminating the principal tool the nation's most exclusive schools have used to diversify the campuses. And when they say diversify, they just mean adding more blacks and Latinos. I guess having whites from America, from all over the world, from America, South America, Europe, and Asians from China, Japan, South Korea, uh, Indian subcontinent, I guess that's not diverse enough. Diverse means more people that look like me. You see, they, they said it right here. Let's read this little piece. Let me keep on rocking and rolling. Thursday's decision will force a reworking of admissions criteria throughout American higher education, where for decades the pursuit of diversity has been an article of faith. University officials have insisted no substitute for racial preferences exists that can ensure a representative share of minority applicants, particularly black students. See, there you go. Uh, uh, gains admission to selective institutions. Okay, so that's the thing. They're using affirmative action to say, okay, let's get more blacks and Hispanics. But again, in order to achieve that goal, as I close, in order to achieve that goal of more blacks and Hispanics, you're going to have to X out more qualified on paper. I'm talking about better test scores, better academic performance. You got to cross out whites and Asians to put the blacks and Hispanics in. There's only a certain number of slots available every year for courses for college admissions. It has to be pretty stringent when you're talking about the criteria. But when you include race as a thing, that's something that people can't study for. They can't practice for. They can't do anything about that. That's beyond their control. That is discrimination, and that should not be tolerated. It doesn't matter if it's against a white person an Asian person, a black person, or an Hispanic person. Discrimination is discrimination, and under the Constitution, we cannot do that. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what's going on here with uh, the Supreme Court striking down affirmative action when speaking about college admissions? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I stand. This is a great move, a great decision especially since these colleges get uh, federal funding. There's a lot of state stuff going on, tied in with the government. Now you're talking about some other institutions that have, um, I don't even know if there's any place that has like discrimination based on race or ethnicity. I think there's some Jewish schools, but I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, HBCUs do not discriminate based on race. You can go there if you are any race. Okay, there are some HBCUs that are actually majority white. I think uh, Bluefield State in West Virginia, also WVSU in West Virginia, they are majority white. They are historically black, but they're not all black. That's all HBCU. Same thing with a lot of your regular normie colleges. A lot of them are historically white because of the racial divide that existed in days past. They're historically white, but they, they, or they're not all white. They said you can't go here because you're a certain race. That's not constitutional. And that was struck down right here as far as admissions into a particular place. Bravo to the Supreme Court. Shout out to Trump for appointing enough of us in there to make this whole thing happen. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Peace.